Welcome to Six Briggs Challenges. Six Briggs are a fantastic learning tool from LEGO Education. Playful learning is a great way to help children practice important skills for learning, like language, problem solving, and working together in a team. To join in with our Six Bricks Challenges at home, you'll need six 4x2 LEGO or Duplo bricks. You'll find all our previous challenges on our First LEGO League UK and Ireland Facebook page and on our IET YouTube channel. Hi everybody, I'm Lucy. I work for the IET in our education team and this is Miles. Hello. He's my super duper helper in our sessions. Um, thanks for joining us for today's Six Bricks live Facebook event. Um, I'm sure we've got some people watching that have seen us before and joined in with our other activities, but hopefully lots of new people watching too. So thanks for joining us and hello to everybody. So today's Six Bricks activity is another great one called Back to Back. <laughs> da, 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 back to Back. Now this activity is going to focus on using descriptive language to explain to someone, give instructions to somebody, how to do something. Okay, and ask questions. So giving instructions is actually quite a tricky skill that takes a lot of practice. Um, so this one is great for that. Now first thing as always, we're going to break up our bricks in front of us. We only need three bricks for today, so make sure that you've got the same colours, whether it's the same as us or just the same as the person that you're doing the activity with. So we're going to have orange, red and yellow, yeah? Yeah. So let's just pop the others to one side for now so we don't need those. Um, now, the idea of this one is that we're going to sit back to back so that we can't see each other. One person is going to build a model with their three bricks and then explain to the other person how to do it as well. So this is about where we're using instructions. Now the person that's listening to the instructions and building second isn't allowed to ask any questions, which is really tricky. So the person that's given the instructions, the first person to build, you've got to be really clear about what they need to do. Okay, so think about telling them which direction the brick's facing, which one's on top of the other one, all this kind of stuff. So as many details as you can in your instruction, okay? Should we have a go and see how we get on? Yeah. Okay, so three bricks, back to back. Person one, decide, get, decide amongst you who's going to be which person. You're going to go first? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to build and then give me instructions. So, um, you're going to get the red brick and make sure the um, long side is facing out right. Okay. Out to the right? Yeah. Oh, no, no questions. That's really hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, forget my question. Right, so it's going to be out to the right. Then you're going to put um, the um, orange one right um, right next to it, so the long side to long side. And okay. then where the, you can see like a really, really, really small crack where they both join, mm -hmm. you, you're going to want to put it over that so it's covering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, and then... So <laughs> that's fine. Well, let's see what let's see. Let's bring them together and see. Did we get the same? Yeah. Yes, we did. <sighs> Great. It's so hard. It's really difficult, isn't it? Okay. So, but the more we practice, the better we get at everything. Same as everything in life. Okay. So this time, I'm going to build okay. and give you instructions. Okay. Same three bricks again. So have a go, stop every rolls at home and see which is harder. Is it harder to listen to the instructions or harder to give the instructions? Okay, so you're going to start with your yellow brick and have it horizontal, so on a straight line. Then you're going to put um, on top of it the orange one, but so that it makes a cross. And then you're going to put the red one on top of that, but so it makes a cross on the orange one. Okay, did we get the same? Yeah, we did, fantastic. Now obviously, the harder you make your model, not only is it harder for the other person that has to build it, but it's harder for you to give the instructions as well. So start off with something simple and then make them more and more tricky, the better you get at doing that. Okay, not too bad? Yeah. What's the hardest thing? What do you think at home the hardest thing is? Is it giving or, ask, or, or listening? Giving. Given the instructions, having to really think about the words that you're using. Absolutely. Um, what instructions were the most useful? Um, what way? Basically. Yeah, the direction of the brick's quite helpful, isn't it, as well? There's basically as many details as you can possibly give. Right, let's have a go at 
four bricks this time. Oh, no. Should we try? Yeah, Which colour should we use? So again, make sure you've got the same four colours. Should we start, you start again? Yeah. Okay, same idea, but except you've got four bricks to think about this time. So again, think of your instructions. So the yellow brick is going to be the base. Yellow at the base. And then like the first one that I did, put the red and the orange on top of it. So next to each other. And then like the yellow, put the dark blue on top of it. So it's covering the tiny crack. Ready? Mm, I think so. Again, I'm not allowed to ask any questions, so I've had to just have a bit of a guess. Oh, I see. Can we see the difference? What was different? Um, I said like last time and then you put that on there. I see. So I've and not you got... swapped it in. Yeah, I didn't put the orange and the red on the top. Really difficult. Yeah? Should we have a go? I'll swap roles then and I'll do some instructions this time. Okay. okay. So you're going to put the red and the yellow together so that the long sides are touching. Then you're going to put an orange brick in the opposite direction over the top of the red and the yellow so it's covering the top two lines of studs and then next to the orange one you're going to put the dark blue one so again you're covering the red and the yellow bricks completely let's see yes what was the most useful instruction to get that one um Putting it next to it. Next to. So next to was a key word in that one. How did you get on at home? Did you manage to follow your, your other person's instructions to build the same? Or what was different? If it is different, what things need to be swapped around to change it to be the same? That's really important as well. Okay, so it's quite difficult not being able to ask questions, isn't it? Because you have to rely on the other person to give you really good, clear instructions. So this time, we're going to use... Uh, we'll, we'll go back to using three bricks again. So get rid of your blue one this time. Make sure you've got the same three colours as your partner. And we are allowed to ask some questions because questions are important to get more information, but only three questions. So you've got to be really careful about what you're asking so you don't waste a question, okay? So you've got to think of a very useful question to ask if you're going to ask one. Shall we have a go? Okay, same, you're gonna go first? Right, so I'm gonna ask three questions and three questions only. Uh, okay, so I have the red one as your base. Red one as my base. And then the yellow, so the right, so on the right where there's a line of four studs, you want to put um, the four, cover the four studs with one, so the bottom of where four studs would be in the yellow. Okay, so the right. my first question then is, can I still see some of the red? Yeah, on the okay. left. Okay, great. And then with that remaining red, you want to cover it with the orange. So my second question, is my orange going next to the yellow? Yes. Okay, orange is next to the yellow. Here we go. Let's see, did we get the same? Yep. Fantastic. That was really good. And you know, it was helpful actually to ask a question just to make sure, because your instructions were really clear, but did I understand it properly? And that's always really important to ask a question if you're not quite sure. Okay, right, I'm going to build this time. Are you ready? Yep. Right, so this time you're going to put an orange and yellow together. Um, red, like what side? Okay, so your first question is what side? Short end to short end. Okay. Orange on the left, yellow on the right. Okay. And then you're going to put your red brick on top, joining them together. Um, which way is it heading? So second question, which way? It's, point, it's the, facing the other direction to the bricks. So pointing upwards. And it kind of makes a cross. Oops, I can't oh, get my stuff. Um, third question. Go on. Um, is it in the middle? It is in the middle, yes. I mean, like, in the middle of the red. The red, yeah. So the, the orange and the yellow cross is in the middle of your red. Okay. Aha! So did the, your questions help you that you asked? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. How did you on at home? Did you ask some really useful questions that helped you understand your instructions? Right, this time, 
We're going to do it again. We'll stick with our three bricks. If you want an extra challenge at home, introduce more bricks. We tried this earlier with six bricks and it got very, very tricky, didn't it? So go as far as you want to do to challenge yourselves. But we're going to stick with three bricks just for today. Now, again, you're allowed to ask questions. This time, as many as you like. But the person, the first person building that's given the instructions is only allowed to answer yes or no. Now, this is to practice asking really specific questions, asking questions that get you the, the, the detail that you need, okay? So uh, it might be, is the bottom brick red? Yes or no, yeah? So you can get that clarification really quickly. Right, we ready? Okay, so as many questions as you like, but only yes or no answers. Who's going first? You can go first. Okay. Um, so you're going to use the orange as the base. Is it facing forwards or across? Forwards. Oh, that's not yes or no, is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's my no. fault. I didn't do a very clever question. Uh, is it facing forwards? That's a yes or no question. Yes. It's facing forwards. Okay, yes. Then you're going to put the red brick so it crosses so at the top the four studs and um, not in a line, it's like so two two. Um, and then you're going to put the red across that so the, the red is so it has like two hanging so two on the right side hanging off and two on the left side and then there's four in the middle just like the orange one was. Okay, so my another question for you then. Is the orange one central in the red one? Yes. Okay. Go on then, next one. And then you want to reflect the red one into the yellow one. Reflect the red one into the yellow one. So is the yellow one go going to cover the orange? Yes. Okay. And it's next to the red one? Yes. Okay, let's see. Did we get the same? Did you get the same at home? Is that harder, asking questions that only have a yes? Well, I definitely found it harder because I asked the wrong one to begin with, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely harder thinking really carefully about questions you can ask. Okay, right. I'll have a go now. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So you're going to start with your yellow one. And you're going to put the orange one next to it but you're going to put the short end of the yellow one up to the long edge of the orange one in the middle of the orange one can you see that at home does it make a t it, yes good question then you're going to put your red brick on top so that it covers both across the join but more brick, more studs are covered on the yellow one than on the orange one. Ah. Is it um, um, facing left? Yes. Okay. okay, do you need to ask any more questions or do you think you've got it? I think I've got it. I think you've got it. Right, how did you get on at home? Was it easier? The harder this time round. And you did it! Look at that! We got the same. Fantastic. That was a bit trickier, that one, because of the instructions. But it's helpful having questions there to ask if we need a little bit more information. So do that as many times as you want. Swap over um, and just see how far you can take it, how tricky you can make your build. So you can give really detailed instructions and ask some questions as well. What do you think was the hardest part of today's activity, would you say? Explaining it explaining it, giving those clear instructions, that definitely takes some practice. It really does. And how can we overcome it? How can we get better at that, do you think? Uh, I guess practicing. Definitely practicing, absolutely. But making sure we put as much information in there as we can, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, Great. So yeah, give yourself an extra challenge. Use more than more than three or four bricks if you want to try that at home. Please send us some pictures and videos of how you got on with that at home. We'd love to see it, wouldn't we? I'm sure you're going to be fantastic at this by the end. Uh, now today's STEM challenge is to design and build a catapult. Do you know what a catapult is? What does a catapult do? So it, it, um, it like flings. Yeah. It's like 
Like if it was in like the Middle Ages and they were attacking the castle, they would use like the big rocks. Yep. So catapults were definitely used in the Middle Ages. It basically flings a machine that flings something somewhere. Now we saw a fantastic catapult as a solution to one of our previous challenges, which is what gave me the idea for today's STEM challenge. Now I wonder what design you will come up with. Okay. It can be. It can look any way you want it to be, but it basically has to launch something from one place to another. So I wonder what design you will come up with. Will it look like one from the Middle Ages? Will it be a completely new and invented design? Who knows? Now, once you've built your catapult using Lego or Duplo bricks, I want you to test how far you can make it launch something. Now, please choose something soft so that we can save anything getting broken in your house. I'm sure your parents will not be too pleased if you start throwing heavy things around. Um, make sure you change your design to make it go even further. So test it, make it even better and change it. Post pictures and videos of your wonderful catapult inventions using hashtag six bricks and hashtag stem so we can see all of your great ideas. And I wonder if you can even measure how far you can get your catapult to launch something. That'd be very impressive. I wonder how far it will actually go. Well, we've had a great time showing you our back to back six bricks activity today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it too. Remember to challenge yourself to even more bricks at home when you have some more time. Send us your photos or videos of what you've been doing today as well on social media. Don't forget as well that in the meantime, we've got lots of free downloadable STEM activities on our IET education website. Just go to the iet.org forward slash education uh, and that'll keep you very busy and doing lots of interesting learning. You can also get your own at home version of First Lego League Junior Discovery over there, show us miles, um, which features six bricks challenges um, at the beginning of every single session. So lots of fun and lots more learning there too. Just go to our website, the iet.org forward slash discovery. We hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.